Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Yemen. Now, where we left off, we had just humiliated Ethiopia so that we could gain some power projection, and we were called to war by the Ottomans in order to take on the Mamluks. So what we're going to be trying to do is try to extract our claims out of this war. So we're going to try and conquer, you know, these provinces, because this will let me get up into the belly of the beast and start to eat the Ethiopians from or uh, not Ethiopians, sorry, the Mamluks from the inside out. Did I say Ethiopians? I meant to say Mamluks. But I have my super siege guy here. He's five siege pips and a 15% siege ability bonus. It is bonkers. I'm going to keep my armies close together because my manpower is relatively low and the Mamluks have a reasonably large army. Enough, enough for me to be scary. I also made an alliance with Sint. Because they're a little bit scared right now. There's a few people looking to kill Sind, from what I can tell. Um, but by making frenzies with Sind, I could possibly even vassalize them. Would that happen? No. Economic base tax, distant between drawers, Sindhi, government rank. Yeah, they probably wouldn't take vassalization, but it may be possible at some point in the future. Uh, protect our trade, local unrest, local trade power. I uh, will go for the protectionism. So for now, I'm going to keep my armies together and I'm going to be playing it very carefully if I can. We're taking a lot of pro uh, thingy here. But look at this. This siege is disgusting. It's plus five and a cannon. He's taking 30 days out of what should be 35. Or he's taking 35 days when it should be way more because of their defensiveness. Ah, I wasn't expecting them to actually come and fight me. This is the same problem I had before, where the Ottomans were, like, getting... not getting attacked, and I'm getting attacked. And cannons are starting to have an effect on the battlefield, so I don't want to lose too many troops here. So I'm going to pull back. I'll let the Ottomans fight them a little bit before we, uh... before we get too far in there. But the good news is the Ottomans get to do a big load of uh, conquering. Although we, we do suffer pretty hefty casualties at this point. Which is far from ideal. Now let's have a look. Do we want to take admin tech or do we want to take admin ideas? These have gotten expensive again. Probably because my spy network in the Mamluks was shut down. But mostly because of the increase over time and the printing press. I think I'm going to try to go all the way up and get the advisor costs now. Uh, I think I'm just going to let my tech decay and stagnate a little bit. Even though I am only two away, I'm going to try and focus on getting these up. Because they're pretty important to me. These ideas are going to be very, very nice. Like, the possible advisors isn't so great, but reducing it, like the, the war exhaustion here is really nice. And the advisor costs, everything else is just kind of okay. I mainly got this for the tech cost thing. And I mainly got diplomatic ideas for the diplo tech cost as well. Cheap tech means I have more points to spend elsewhere in my empire. Let's see if we can't get some stack wipes over here in this uh, in this area on the left. I think the Ethiopians might be a bit busy with the you know Ottoman swarm. Yeah, we'll do a royal marriage with Sind. Yeah, here comes the Ottoman swarm. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus. Obliterated. Yeah, we need to deal with some of this. Keep on going up. See if we can catch these armies out without them noticing. Hanafi scholar, that is the admin tech scholar. Yep. I'm going to focus on my ideas for a little bit. Can we catch him? I don't think we're going to catch him. We can catch the fungi. Oh, we did. We caught him. Let's catch the funge. Catch the funge. That sounds like just going out and getting a disease. <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to go catch that funge. Are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure you want to catch the funge? I mean, I don't... It doesn't sound so good. Yeah, 
I've never really heard of anyone actually wanting the funge. I think there's something wrong with you there, buddy. Okay, they have a lot of cannons and infantry, which is kind of weird. They're doing a lot of damage in the fire phase. We're going kind of toe-to-toe. -to -toe. For some reason, I'm having trouble just breaking through their their power. I think it's because cannons have become relevant at this stage in the game. And I'm going to need to start getting more and more cannons because the um the power like the the firepower of a cannon is is starting to reach that of an infantry even though that's not so great in the shock phase the fire phase is definitely becoming very very important and i think especially around i think right now it's good but i think especially around tech 16 is when cannons become super super important Because like, cannons already are pretty damn important at this stage in the game. Uh, Mercury's opinion of Yemen has changed by minus 40. So I think... I'll have to I'll have to go for the new thingy. See if we can't de-siege some of this. I was hoping to catch this little army on its own. But the good news is I am at least distracting them for the, for the Ottomans. I might not get what I want out of this war, but um, helping the Ottomans is a noble goal. I'm hoping this guy comes into this province so we can get a clean attack on him. Nice, we caught him. Let's shift consolidate. I'm hoping to stack wipe this. I don't know if I'll be able to. Okay, good. We got a stack wipe. Let's, uh, let's clear out some of this so we stop taking so much um, war exhaustion. And devastation in these provinces, because I think being occupied is a lot of devastation, you know? These provinces aren't exactly doing great anyway. The Ottoman Doom Stacks and Doom Swarms are doing their job. Let's see if we can't pick up at least maybe these three provinces that we wanted. Uh, let's see, which province is this? This is Mukala. Mukala. Okay, what is your highest development thingy? Uh, who is your... You've got no estate. Local tax modifier, local trade power, or local manpower. Uh, I'd be trade. Whatever. Give me, give me some tax. A few, few points of tax. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll not turn my nose up at that. Let's go see if we can... Yeah, like I said, let's go see if maybe we can grab these three... These three provinces in our favor. While the Ottomans do their thing. We need to be much more careful. I might even go down to a slower speed here because like, I keep getting caught. <laughs> because I, I like, I'll like i be paying attention to my army and then I'll look away for a split second and all of a sudden there's an army coming in on top of me. Which uh, is very inideal. Now we are super low on manpower here so I think it's time to talk to the Emirs. Raise additional levies. Uh, we're a few years from being able to do that. I could debase my recruiting standards again. But I think we'll just try to stick it out for a while and see if the Ottomans can kind of isolate the Mamluks army and I can just kind of get away with um, I want you to repair when you're slightly damaged. Because you are a privateer so you will be taking damage quite regularly. Let's de deoccupy some of this. I'd like to get Funge out of the war if I could, actually. So let's get the provinces that we want occupied. And let the Mamluks and the Ottomans have their own little fight. Up in the north. What I might do is I might bring this guy back around to see if I can snag this fort and Jeddah. It would make me really happy if I could do that. Split this army in half and just kind of use it to deoccupy things. 
Let's go up to speed three. Let's keep an eye on. Okay, looks like there's, a f there's some fights going on over here. I think this is a good opportunity to go try and take that. Um, with this, we'll have a little bit more forewarning with regards to when the army's going to be coming in. Oh my god, a hundred thousand troops just like barreled into a fight there. So I think our goal was to move towards mysticism here for conversion reasons. Um, so let's keep trying to move towards mysticism here to convert. Otherwise we're going to be in bad shape. If we can never get that to work for us. Oh, there's a stack coming down this way. I may have to play this safely, say more safely. So I'm going to move up to here. I could use a fort around here actually. Will be useful. So I'm going to wait until he moves up to try and re-engage the Ottomans. And then I'll look into... Um, see what I can do. So it looks like they're actually trying to occupy this fort here. Which is not what I was hoping for. I could take a fight here, but they have so much... They have so much artillery that I really don't feel safe uh, taking that fight. Just because the artillery just does so much fire damage. It's really, really painful actually. But the good news is that I'm occupying the Ottomans. So it looks like he's actually transferring the provinces that I want to me. So I'm actually getting some credit here. And because I selected things... Because I selected things that weren't near what the Ottomans wanted... He's like, yeah, you can have this. You want this stuff? You can have this stuff. So I could even, I could even be a little bit more aggressive if I was like... You know... If that's the way I was going to be, I would like do... Ah, a war ally has already claimed it. Really? Ah, okay. But at least I got my vital, my vital importance provinces in in place. And hopefully the Ottomans won't turn on me. I'm hoping to build trust with the Ottomans to lower their likelihood of um, going to war with me. Uh, once we've wiped out the, the Egyptian, the Mamluks, rather. I keep calling them Egyptians because they're in the Egypt region, but really they're not the Egyptians at all, are they? They're the Mamluks. It's a different thing entirely. So I'm a bit worried about this... ...progression that I'm not getting. Pretty much all their troops are on this province. So if I were to just scoot around it... ...I'd be doing okay. We'll think about it. Oh, here we go. Now's our chance to, so to occupy that. He's trying to escape, but the auto stack has caught him. Let's see if we can join this army to help the Ottomans out. Alright, then we'll take back that. Oh god. Why do they have a stack here? Why, why is, why, oh my god. And now you're, you can't turn around, ah oh, great. I thought I would have time before, like, I thought all, like, I thought he had, he had 30, he had like 30,000 troops. I didn't think he would have like 12,000 over here. I don't know where, I don't know where those troops came from. I guess I didn't read the cavalry and artillery numbers. That's probably why I felt deceived. Yeah, I just lost two stacks, half, half my stack now. Let's see if you can get out of there. And now you're getting caught by Funge. Oh man. I should have regrouped, I should have just regrouped down here and kept it as a single stack instead of letting it get caught on its own and stuff. I figured, oh, the war is won. We can just be be doing what we want. Add size minus ten to the spy network. Uh, whatever. I'll reduce their opinion of me. Let's capture this province. It's critical for me to get that province. Why are you stopped? Why would you stop there? 
That doesn't make any sense. It's just a dead unit now. It's doing the stack bouncing thing for some reason, I don't understand. When clearly the best place to retreat is home. So run home, little stack, and I've got a stack over here that's hopefully breaking this gut gun. Come on. We're not ready to reform the government yet. Soon though, soon I swear. It's the great thing about the siege guy, like what, what how long has this been siege been going on? It's like uh, 130 days and he's almost done. He's already at max rolls, almost, no. But God, this guy is so good. How, how like how do you how do you be that good? Five siege pips, five siege pips, and fifteen percent siege ability. That's crazy. That's outrageous. Let's uh, shift consolidate here. And of course, we do have uh, we do have problems. Elodian separatists in Soba. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. And we can take an idea. Now... National Manpower 10% is quite good. There's also a merchant over here and a diplomat. I'd like to get to our idea of 10% production efficiency. Oh man, I really don't want to delay tech here. But I feel like, I feel like I want to fill these ideas out. Because they'll do a lot for me. Um, if I can get them finished in terms of, they'll make, they'll make future technology cheaper. So I think that's actually a justification. Even if we need to wait for an institution before we can really adopt technology. Okay, so we captured one of the forts that we wanted. I'm hoping that the Mamluks are kind and decide to uh, give me what I want here. What's our contribution like? Very little of my contribution. Very little of... M yeah. There's very, very little. I mean, there's a bit, but it's, it's, it's not a lot. This stack is basically done for. We're down 14,000 manpower. Consolidate here. Let's re-unoccupy this. That'll increase our war score. It'll give us some contribution, I hope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Little old stack getting getting wiped on. Uh-oh. Ottomans, you're messing up here, buddy. Ottomans. What do they have? Ottomans is just filled with artillery. So it looks like artillery is important here at this point in the game. Uh, which I, I usually I usually wait a little bit before I get uh, more artillery. So I guess any any new force limit points are going to be going towards artillery, uh, which seems like a reasonable thing. I mean, I guess we have ten. I guess we have ten about twelve infantry. That's quite a bit. Might be better off going more into the artillery side of things. I mean, there was probably already an argument that maybe I should have more already, but yeah, whatever. It's fine. Okay, we desiege this. Let's go unsiege this. We're mostly just doing like cleanup operations, trying to just conserve our army, current army size, because I don't want to lose any more troops. Um, I would like to grab a few extra provinces if the Ottomans are feeling kind. Let's see, could I? I could separate peace, but it would hurt trust with the Ottomans. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to hurt my trust with my, my biggest and strongest ally because I want to try and keep the Ottomans fairly on board with me um, because they could crush me pretty easily. Yeah, you can have military access. I think it's time to enact a thingy. Now, I could grab a little bit of manpower. Um, this would give me 2,000 manpower. I don't think that's worth it. I think I'd rather just get the ducats and the 15% tax. And now I'm going to reform my government.
we're now a sultanate, which is a slightly better version of the government we are. We don't get the Ikta thingies anymore, but being a sultanate is totally fine. And we can become like a despotic monarchy, a feudal monarchy. I'm happy about that. Uh, now we can form Arabia, which is more along the lines of what I was hoping to do. We do need to have Baghdad for that, and I think Baghdad is up here. We have a lot of provinces that we need to get to. Did I ever claim Iskandiaria? Because I should have. I hope I did. Because I hope the um, uh, I hope the Ottomans don't take it. Hmm. Because I, I want to try and maybe form Arabia if I can. That would be fun. I think. Be the Arabian Knights and all that sort of stuff. Okay, you guys are taking attrition here. You shouldn't be. Go to Al Ula. See if we can't get a little bit of our own occupation in here to try and uh, squeeze a little bit more of our value into this peace deal. I think we can go up to speed four. I think this war is won. It's mainly just occupation that needs to happen. Lose army professionalism or we lose loyalty with the Ulemas or the Amirs and gain professional. I think I want to gain professionalism at this point because I'm really close to another um, regimental mustering. Okay, the Ottomans now owe me 40 favors. They gave me two provinces. They gave me three provinces. Hey, okay. They took a lot for themselves. I gained some power projection. I gained some prestige. I only get a little bit of that. But they owe me a lot of trust. Which is really quite great, actually. Because I'm going to spend a little bit of that trust to bring them up to 60. A little bit of those favors to bring them up to 60 trust. But now I've got three potential wars on my hands that I can drag them into. So what I need to do is I need to amend what I consider mine. To include this. And I need to look at Arabia. Uh, let's look at Kahira. Okay. Um, what's the next one? Haleb. Haleb. Where is Haleb? Ooh, that's gonna be that's gonna be awkward. Al Kuds. Okay, this is gonna so forming Arabia is gonna be pretty difficult actually. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I'm basically gonna have to fight the Ottomans in the late game to try and form Arabia. Might be not ideal. Might be in ideal to make that attempt. Ah, disloyalist states. Okay, estates. So the emirs. As usual, the emirs, the emirs are always demanding more land. Here, have this province. And have this province. There. That'll Maybe that'll buy me some more time for you to not be upset with me. And we can core our land. Ooh, Jeddah is expensive. That means it's a good province. Incense. Ooh. My merchants' names are being slandered. How do you... What, what is slandering your merchants? What, what does that mean? Mushasha. Let me talk to you, buddy. Slander merchants. What does that do? Global trade power. Oh, wow. That's really painful. It lasts for 15 years, too. That's a really powerful little ability there. Completely wrecks someone's trade power for like 15 years. Well, I say completely wrecks. It, like, it hurts them. It, I, 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 mm -hmm. Rex was maybe an overstatement. I'm going to take... The, I'm doing this mostly for the prestige. And again, I want to move towards mysticism because I've got a lot of provinces to convert. So this is going to be losing loyalty with the Ulema. but potentially getting more um, missionary conversion cost. Actually, speaking of missionary conversion, no, I'd, I'd need to I'd need to talk to the uh, Ulema and grab an Inquisitor, is it? Yeah, I'd need to grab an Inquisitor, but they're quite expensive, so I'll have to wait until Il Al Mutahar Isa goes away. If 
Thankfully, my stacks survived. And I will have more force limit. I'm going to start filling in some of my force limit with cannons. Because I think it's a mistake that I don't have enough cannons right now. Um, I am losing money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my army maintenance to really low. And I'm just going to drill my, my normal army. I will increase in autonomy in the new provinces. But I'm going to drill this army. And only this army. My fort maintenance is getting quite expensive, but that's okay. Let's check for any of these edicts, because I don't remember if I have any. Yeah, there's a centralization, centralization edict here. I'm going to turn that off because it's getting expensive for me to maintain some of these edicts. I think I have a missionary edict going over here, but that's kind of necessary. So let's get rid of this centralization edict here. I had another one going over here. I'm going to turn that one off. I can't believe this little <laughs> this little nation of Mara is still alive. I think they still have cores on my land. Yeah, they do. <laughs> uh, they'll never make it, I'm afraid. But, uh, let's see. That should have brought my income. Yeah, now I'm actually making money. Now, I haven't debased my currency in a long time. And I, it's, it's definitely something that's worth considering. Because it's a way to extract cash out of your thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I haven't looked at any of these buildings in a long, long time. Like, Masawa very clearly deserves one. And Damar deserves one as well. And then, in terms of taxation... There's at least three in here that are reasonable. Zero, again, 0 0.1 means it takes about 50 years for it to pay itself off, which is a reasonable amount of time for the game. You know? A 50-year investment? I'd take it. So, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!